Welcome everybody. I am so glad you stopped by to see my video and I better put some light on the subject, right? What I've started is I drew a dolphin. I mean, not a dolphin. I'm sorry. A whale. Gosh. On my canvas and what I'm going to do instead of doing the glue gun all the way around because it's so hard to get a good line. I'm going to pick one of my puff paints and because it doesn't matter what color because I'm going to be painting over it so I'm going to see what color I would use the least and I think that would be the gray so if it works and it's not Pajama pies. Okay, the other one wasn't working for me, so we're going to go with first making sure y'all can see good and outline the well with this brown. there. Shaky. Oh my goodness. It definitely is a lot easier than using the glue gun. go yeah see how much simpler that is all right we just got the tail to do I'm gonna try to move my canvas I apologize if y'all get out of view but this is kind of tricky Phew. Almost need this upside down, don't I? We're gonna lift it up here. go that's good now all we have to do is clean up our little mess because I stuck my hand I guess somewhere in it and we want to come in with the mouth And an 
eyeball. And I'm just going right on top of the glue gun that I tried to do on his fins. And I just dislike using the glue gun. It does not give Okay, our well has been outlined, and now what we'll have to do, because it does not dry quickly like the uh, uh, glue gun does, the puff paint takes some time. So we're going to just let that dry, and then we'll go on to our next step. Oops, forgot to turn the camera back on. Sorry about that. Um, all I did, though, is lay some blue paint on our whale. And now I'm putting in the white. It takes a little bit of time, so maybe that kind of helped y'all. Just like that. Okay. Looking good. Now what I want to do is we're going to cover the background of the canvas. We've got the well and the background covered and I'm still not happy. I'm not happy with the colors at all. Oh, what to do, what to do. Um, that's where I'm at. What to do. I like it, but yet I don't like it. So, work it in the video there. This is what it turned out as. And uh, call it a day. We'll see you on the next one. I decided to give it another shot. I think what I'm going to do is a paint pour over it. And then in, after it has dried, I can come around and highlight the well again. Um, because I just am not happy at all. It's an adorable well, but I don't like the background all solid color. I do want more of a paint pour look. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we are going to use white. I'm going to start layering my cup. Two cups, actually. It takes up two cups to get this uh, done. So, we got our first color there. Turquoise blue on top of that. Bring my other cup over. There. 
do another little bit of white. to that on the side of the jar. Okay. And the other color. What color? What color? Some purple. if I have any more. Our cups are getting good and full. One cup, I'm going to lift the canvas and flip it over because I can't, I'm not a good flipper. So that's what I'm going to do for the first cup. So I'll set the other one to this. Oh, wait a minute. First, I need to set my cup, my paint. We're going to flip this baby. There, okay. Then we've got one here that I'm going to have to just throw on here. Okay. Tap, 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 tap. Sort of pretty. Okay, got everything out of that cup. And let's try this cup. Let's 
see how whether I got enough paint or not. There we go. I'm watching several different pla places on the canvas at the same time. The other direction. I don't know if I'm going to get anything there or not. Doesn't look like it. So let me set this down. And I'm going to add paint to my edge here. Yeah, I dropped a lot of paint and a lot of paint did not. I must not have put enough in my cup. Good as I seem to be able to get it here to the end, and it dripped all over me. All right, so we're gonna let that rest just a minute while I try to save my shirt because a big old blob went right in it. Now we've got some pretty lacing going on, and underneath here is a whale. So once the paint is completely dry, I'll be able to 
bring out our pretty well. But I darn sure like this background a lot better than I did when I started out. <sighs> Good. Okay. This is going to be a piece together video. It is going to be successful. I can see the flippers already. Uh, the shape of the tail, all of that. And as it dries, that'll rise, of course, to, and you'll be able to see it. And then what I'll do is I'll go around it with either gold or, or some kind of a good highlighting color. Um, we did get some beautiful little, little cells. They're actually pretty precious. I like them. And so that's all we're going to do is let it dry. And... Uh, I will piece the video back together. Well, we are now all dried, the paint pour. Um, I have highlighted the puffy paint that I did around our well, as you can see. Now I am taping it off just like that. And we, I am going to come in with white and cover everything but the well. And then I'll peel off the tape and we're going to have this beautiful design that will match the dolphin as a frame. So that's what we are going to do now. So I'm going to put a little bit of white paint on here and get to painting. Um, some love to watch and some don't. So... If you don't, go ahead and just fast forward it and be able to see the end result. And I appreciate you even stopping by. Uh, if you do like watching, enjoy as I now cover up all these beautiful cells <laughs> that, I tr that I did on this pour. And, uh, you know, that's how it always works. If, if I don't want cells... I get them and, and this one in particular I didn't want to get sales because I wanted to come in and do this but it did turn out cool because we're gonna have some cellular activity in our whale and stuff so with that I'm just gonna start painting all around the whale with white So, how is everyone doing? I am happy that you are a part of my creations by joining me on YouTube. I hope that if you're thinking about subscribing, you will. And um, comments. I love comments because I love to answer them and just hear how people like it or don't like it. I take both. Constructive criticism is good. Um, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that good stuff. Just trying to think of something to say. I think I need to turn my TV off, though. Let me go do that. Okay, we got the TV turned off. Forgot all about that. I don't know if you heard what I said or not. But all I'm doing is painting over the background of this beautiful whale that I drew and then I used puffy paint to outline it and it was a gold color in the puffy paints I really recommend those they're so fun to use and I'm trying to make sure that we get a good coverage of white Careful not to hurt my fishy by messing up his outline. And it does take kind of a thick paint to cover the pore. And I'm trying to just smooth it out basically. And we hope when I pull up my tape, I'm going to have perfect and no bleed-throughs. Let's hope. That 
that's always a worry. And I, I ran out of my blue tape, blue painter's tape, so I'm hoping this tape will work. So I'm going along pretty fast. I really don't know if you want to sit through all this. How about if we, uh, since you know how to paint a background, I'm sure, I can all, you can either fast forward or I can pause it and just do it and then show you the end. But that's all we're doing, guys, is just painting around the whale because when I peel off the tape we're going to have this background around and it's going to match the whale which is going to be pretty cool so I think what I'll do is just go ahead and pause you get half of it done take me a second here okay we're getting a little bit closer I have to keep turning to see what, because my camera is directly over the uh, painting so that y'all have the best view, but it doesn't give me a good view, <laughs> so I always have to check to see if you can see me or not. Uh, we have come a, quite a ways here. I don't know if you can see where we're at, but that's where we're at. And trying to be so careful around my raised puffy paint of gold because I thought gold would be just beautiful I may have to come in here with a smaller brush Okay, we've got one coat of white. I'm hoping that you can see everything good. Isn't he beautiful? And outlined with the white, and then when I pull off the tape, we're going to have a beautiful frame. We're going to put two coats of white on here, though. So I just wanted to let you see what is happening. And I'm hoping that you are. <laughs> And especially when we reveal the, uh, when we take off the tape. So I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to do a second coat. Okay, we have got a second layer of white paint on and it's dried. So now the magic part, which is going to be, well first actually, let's do this. I wanted to give our beautiful whale an eyeball which I outlined in gold and I'm going to come in with just an acrylic marker to give him his eye yeah that looks good and I also wanted to outline his mouth that also has kind of a smile. That does look good with the uh, highlighting or, or uh, shadowing, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I might do a little bit more. there that's all I want just a little bit of you know that your eyes will go to his eyes and his pretty mouth he's a beautiful whale isn't he okay here comes the uh, 
I'm hoping for no bleeds. Here we go. Is everybody seeing? Yes, I think so. And I'm gonna carefully take this off. I usually use blue tape, so I'm a little worried, but I'm gonna pull it off really slow. like it. So I love it. It's doing good. It's doing good, guys. This was my biggest fear, was this masking tape would not work. I usually use the blue kind. Isn't that pretty? Can you guys see that? I'm hoping you can. I'm going to go this direction right now. That one turned out good too, guys. All right. Now the top one here. Ooh, that looks so good. And then the last is the bottom, or top, or bottom, whatever. Ah, it came out great. There we go. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. Ah, I love it. What a great idea, right? Yes, yes. Looky, looky, looky here. I'm curious to know if you can see it. I think you can. I think you're getting a really good view there. Isn't he adorable? I can bring him up a little. You can see the sides. Look how pretty that makes it. Oh my goodness. I'm in love with my whale. There you go, the finished piece until I resin it. I let it cure uh, for a week before I do any resining. Um, but you can pretty much see right now that it's beautiful. And once that resin is put on here, it'll be like glass. Okay, thank you for joining me through everything. I tried to cut out things that took a long time, like a double layer of white, things like that, so you didn't have to, uh, you know, watch all that, and um, as well as the lining of the whale with puffy paint, by the way. It is puffy paint by Castle right here, okay? Love it. It's better than the glue gun because I was using the blue the glue gun to outline my projects, and oh, what a pain in the butt. But these, <laughs> I thought to myself, I got puffy paint. Why, why am I not using it? So um, there we go. We're using it. And I think it turned out beautiful. Um, I'll take more pictures and stuff like that and uh, shoot it off to YouTube. And hopefully you all get to see it. Thank you to everybody that is a subscriber. And thank you for my new uh, two more subscribers welcome. Um, thank you for all my regulars, you know, my Lily, my Claudia, my Sandy, all my, my besties. Thank you for hanging in there with me, and I hope this video, I can piece it all together, because it was a process. First, um, drawing the whale, then doing the, uh, the, uh, paint pour, and then, you know, masking, taping it off, and then, all I did was use puffy paint to create um, an outline of our well. I hope you like it. I love it. Okay, thank you for joining me. Um, comment, thumbs up. Join my channel if you like. I do something almost every day. Um, thank you for joining me until the next one. Bye.